What is going on, snipers? Naeem Alobadi here. I hope you're all enjoying your day today. Let's go ahead and just dive right into our daily cryptocurrency content and analysis for today. There was a slight lag in our last video. I do apologize for that. But we're going to be talking about our upcoming cryptocurrency bull run and why a lot of prominent analysts are expecting a trillion dollar plus market cap with this bull run that's coming as you can see with bitcoin's technical analysis we're going to dive right into it we've got several different resistance levels drawn out here as well as this overall long-term pennant that has been forming since december of 2017 if you don't know what a pennant is we have a discord resource it's free it's in the link below in the description and a pennant here is created when there's a significant movement in the stock followed by a period of consolidation as you can see we had a very significant movement period of consolidation and then a breakout movement then occurs in the same direction as the big stock move if we go to this one hour chart you can see another pennant forming on the one hour breakout consolidation converging resistance and support levels towards the end of this symmetrical triangle or pennant which is the apex there is a upcoming potential breakout right now. And even if there isn't, you can easily set stop losses here and minimize a lot of risk, but have all this upside potential with the next resistance followed by 8,200 all the way up at around 9,000 US dollars. So over a thousand dollar gains if you were to trade one Bitcoin at this point. So very bullish sign here. Another cool thing to notate here is if you pull up this RSI, the relative strength index we are now starting to shoot back up i am expecting this to start to head up maybe see slight resistance at that level but then to gain more and more volume and traction to then go ahead and shoot past 60 where this area right here would be extremely bullish because we'd mo most likely head past this level into the overbought level in which we take profits at that point if you are swing trading so interesting articles that i found today i'd love to share a lot of these with y'all if y'all are watching this live welcome to the live stream if this is after the video is published we're gonna have timestamps in the description but this article very interesting respected wall street strategist says bitcoin will reach twenty five thousand dollars in 2018 i'm not gonna go through the whole article but if you read it here it says one very noticeable respected wall street strategist who believes that bitcoin is on the verge of tripling in price is Thomas Lee. Lee says the price of Bitcoin could reach $25,000 within eight months. And he also says it's overdue. Bitcoin was incredibly oversold. Another article here, crypto hedge fund, Bitcoin price reached its probable low at 6,500. Why is this article special? Well, if you read it here, you can see a crypto hedge fund with more than 800 million dollars in assets advocates that the bitcoin price has reached its probable low at 6500 well why right the fund says only they've made three buy and one sell recommendations for the last seven years and pantora is particularly careful and far from being reckless in their public statement so this is a hedge fund that isn't necessarily going out just saying this is going to happen tomorrow this is what's going to happen the next day they have been very careful with their statements and for them to say that bitcoin has reached its bottom at 6500 is an extreme feat for us with optimism in the market sentiment right now where most people are kind of hesitant to put money into the market but in reality it's the perfect time in my opinion as we've seen over a 70 percent retracement from our all-time highs around twenty thousand us dollars so let's go ahead and take some questions from the audience who do we have on live right now on youtube We've got Benny Johnson in the house, Brian Pendez, J.M.O. Brian. Somebody said big traders are going short. Not necessarily. If you go pull up the USD Bitcoin shorts, not many people are shorting it right now, actually. So it's actually showing a lot of hesitation, in my opinion. You can see we're seeing a little bit of an uptick, but it's the same thing with longs, too. So you can't sit here and tell me it's just the shorts. Even the longs are seeing a little bit of an increase. So. Trust me, I'm watching the Bitcoin longs and shorts, and we're not necessarily seeing exuberance in either of both of those. Sterling in the house, Jerome in the house, Steven Nijen, good to have you. Shout out from Seattle. Wow, Jackson Lee says BNB. Coin burn is happening tomorrow. Take your profits. Our size way too overbought right now. Hassan said, Hi, Naeem. Nice to be here again. Good to have you, Mr. Shahid. Glenn says, what's going on with the gold price? <laughs> We're not talking traditional commodities right now. Gotta watch says, be dumb. Volume low. Jose Sanchez, maybe you need to turn up your volume. I don't know. Who am I says, I am in the house. Marvy in the house. Somebody says, didn't hit 5,800. Absolutely. Who did that massive buy order that pumped the price up? Good question, Benny J. Johnson. 
check this out. I don't think a lot of people are realizing this, but traditionally in historical sense, when Bitcoin has seen a large amount of buy volume, it's it's followed by a midterm bull run. You can see we saw a very large amount of buy volume here, which was followed by a midterm bull run from February 5th all the way up until March 4th. So almost one month of just straight price movements up. Now, what's cool is we saw the largest buy volume bar in the history of Bitcoin in one hour recently, therefore indicating in a historical sense that we're gonna see another bull run start. And it makes sense. All of the indicators are lining up. If you look at the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, you can see we've got some negative divergence here as we're starting to see this MACD go bam, 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 starting to head back up. That's what I'm expecting here. You can see the histogram, more buyers coming into the market. So what questions do we have right now from the audience before we get into more of these cool articles that I've found here that are going to add some value to some of y'all in a fundamental sense because it's not all about technical analysis. Sometimes you need articles to give you fundamental analysis, right? Edit name says Bitcoin is now halal in Islam. So all Muslims bought in. Absolutely. That's one big positive news for Bitcoin. Another one is tax season, right? It's ending here in the US April 17th, I believe or 18th, I need to get my taxes done. And people are gonna be receiving tax returns. What does that mean? An influx of liquid cash to American citizens where American citizens are known to be investors, right? I think the average American has less than $1,000 in their savings account. Not that that's a bad thing, but hopefully a lot of them have investments. The majority don't, but I assume that a lot of them will be wanting to buy Bitcoin as a potential investment, knowing that price is low. It was almost at 20,000 at one point, and it's already retraced back to these lows and has found some significant support. So a lot of positive sentiment and then consensus is coming up, which is another conference in May. And traditionally, Bitcoin has been pretty good in Q2. Q1 is never really the best for Bitcoin, especially because January is the start to a new year. But I think Q2 is going to be solid. I think May is going to be the month for Bitcoin and then following it to June and July. Somebody said, we invest in big max. That is funny. We don't invest in McDonald's here. Faisal in the house. Johand Thorson, interesting name, says empty Gox 200,000 sell off done. Hopefully it'll be done soon. That's just baggage that Bitcoin has been holding. Remember, we're waiting for all the baggage to just fall off for Bitcoin. It's had so much baggage and we just need all the baggage to come out, get solved so we can start moving forward in the maturation of this market so we can see real institutional money come into this market with confidence. And that's what we're waiting for right now as most bubbles like the dot-com bubble over $3 trillion in today's valuation over 10 trillion have seen significant prices. So being under a trillion right now, I think we are poised for a great run up over the next couple of months. And it name says, am I stupid for having 100% LTC bags? Not at all. I think LTC is a little bit more oversold right now than Bitcoin. I think it didn't get as much attention when we saw that rally two days ago. So I think LTC is a good coin to hold right now at around 127 US dollars. I can see the target right around 150 very soon. David says, I hope. Absolutely. ADA is Bay. Rodolfo Varela. Interesting. Big A says, still bullish on LTC. Absolutely. Art by Mike Vice says, the market's still young. Yes, it is. Let's see. Berti from Turkey. Good to have you. Scotty, what's up, man? Good to have you, man. He says, Tether Bitfinex caused the price pump. Another theory by many. Absolutely. There's this huge Tether drama. But Scotty's been a fan of Sniper's Tube for well, since December. Since we were at like a thousand subs, we had like two viewers on our live stream. So... I love seeing fans that have stuck through and have seen all of these new snipers come into Sniper's Tube and we are making sure that we're sniping every trade possible here. David said, Syrian war, man, how much impact will it have? You know, wars traditionally have impacts with markets, but I just don't think it's going to have that significant of an impact on the market. I mean, what would be the most significant thing that would happen from the Syrian war, right? Well, Syria is in a state of crisis. I understand that's unfortunate. And I, I literally will <laughs> pray for all of the families there. And I hope you are all safe if you're from Syria. But at the end of the day, this is a global market. There's a lot more factors involved here than just one country. 
Who am I says hello from the other side. By the way, do you remember when China banned ICOs and Bitcoin went from 5,000 to 20,000? Just saying. Sean Morgan says two whales. Somebody says Binance Malta. Yeah, another exchange. OKEX just went to Malta as well. They're going to be getting an influx of users. Check this article out. JP Morgan gets sued for fraudulent freeze fees in cryptocurrency transactions. Come on, Jamie Dimon. You're calling cryptocurrency a fraud. Now you're the one frauding us. Are you kidding me? Check this article out, man. This is ridiculous. I'm going to put in the link in the description below. But JP Morgan pretty much treating cryptocurrency transactions as cash advances charging fees is now in a class action lawsuit you deserve it jamie diamond with your reckless stinking statements man anyways check this article out too steam it exclusive one trillion dollar reasons to hodl awesome article i'll leave it in the description below as well it's going to talk about exactly what we're talking about here in terms of market maturation institutional money coming to the market soon and with that being said our Instagram is up and running as well. We are posting daily memes for all of y'all that love Bitcoin memes. Follow us at Snipers too. I just want y'all to be aware of that. Let's take some questions and we'll wrap this live stream up. Johan said, Yahoo just bought 40% of an exchange in Japan. Let's ask Siri if Bitcoin's going up. Hey Siri, is Bitcoin going up? Bitcoin USD is up $176.09 today or 2.23% to $8,075.63. There you go. Series bullish. <laughs> Somebody said Jamie Demon. LOL, that's a good name. Bula Bagai says Asada coin. Sado asked about NCash. Haven't done the research yet. Jessica Leon, Bank of America charged me international fees for Coinbase purchase. Ridiculous. Call them. Art by Mike says Siri knows. Glenn said, ha, 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 ha. Somebody asked about what's about NCash. I haven't looked into NCash. I need to look into NCash. I'm getting too many questions. Somebody says, show us your GDAX. I've shown my GDAX already. <laughs> I've showed it multiple times. I think we made like what? Like $6,000 with two live streams, $3,000 each live stream pretty much. One with Ethereum, one with Bitcoin. That was just the two that I showed because somebody challenged me. I'm not going to keep showing that. I mean, I don't need to prove anybody anything sean a says can you talk about verge verge in my opinion i saw an article today about intrinsically valuable projects verge being one of those enabling privacy with the blocked ledger as well as the public ledger for transactions verge i think is a great project you know they made an announcement today why they transferred all of those coins to the binance wallet so it is what it is we can't sit here and try to speculate all about it because they announced that they said it's fine it's going there for a reason and so we're just going to go ahead and see what this partnership has to offer, right? Let's wait for this partnership announcement. And then from there, we'll determine what Verge is looking like in a fundamental sense rather than a technical sense. Benny Johnson says, guys, they use BTC in refugee camps as the currency is void. <laughs> Interesting. Papa Pete says, what's your thoughts on Limpo? Haven't looked at that. Usam says, have you heard of Pundi X? No. Nano. Nano being a little bit oversold as well. Very good coin. Matter of fact, if we pull up coin market cap, what I want you to realize is the majority of the market right now has already seen an influx of buyers come in. It saw a little bit of pullback yesterday, but now we're seeing prices starting to head back up. You can see the majority of the market is up. We're going to put up all of the cryptocurrencies here in a line order. You can see a lot of these cryptocurrencies are up over 20% in the past seven days, but there are a few that aren't. And these are the ones that I want you all to watch. You can see here, Litecoin, not over 20% in the past seven days, actually only 8% up. That's why I'm deeming this as more oversold than Bitcoin. You look at Monero, only 12% up. Dash, only 18% up. Tron, only 8% up. Tether, not like you can trade that for profits. The Binance coin as well, 7.37% up, right? Coin burn is happening tomorrow. Let's see what movements we see. Lisk, 16% up. Bitcoin gold, Nano, only 14% up, down 1% today. A lot of opportunity in this market. I would stay away from some of these crazier gain coins like IOTA, for example, that have already seen over 40% gains. Try to go for these coins that have less gains right now knowing that we're going to see some bull trend in this market we want to make sure that we're taking advantage of the coins that hasn't yet seen the exuberance and liquidity and cash from the market bull run in their assets so like eos for example over 40 percent up maybe not a coin to go ahead and initiate position in just yet 
let it retrace, retrace a little bit, let some liquidity flow out before putting more money into it. Because understand, whenever the whole market is in a bull rush and you see these billions of dollars coming in and out of the market, they're not evenly distributed upon all of the coins. They get distributed upon specific coins, typically the ones that have more intrinsic value than others. Therefore, because of that uneven distribution, you want to be able to take advantage of that. The market is all about the slight edge. There's a really good book called The Slight Edge. I highly recommend reading it. And it talks about taking advantage of every little opportunity. There's always things that could be tweaked to enhance your probabilities and your odds. And one of those is realizing the distribution of liquidity in the market. So there's a lot of different things you can utilize, but that's one. And if y'all want to have more quick tips, just go on our Discord under analysis. Go to quick tips and you can see here, don't eat yellow snow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Somebody posted this today. We're going to be locking these up soon so that only our analysts can post. But that's once our Discord is in the phase that we want to get it to. But yeah, we're posting constant analysis on there and we're making sure to update. Let's see if there's any other questions here before we wrap this baby up. Somebody says, Naeem, why suit on the weekend? Grab a t-shirt, yo, Peter Walker. You know, I trade better when I wear a suit. I don't know why. It's just, I don't know. I'm putting more on the line maybe. <laughs> Gotta watch crypto says they are good for many reasons as well as platform coins. Absolutely. I agree 100%. Somebody said, Rodolfo, Naeem, how do you feel about POA for long term? Um, haven't done as much research on that for the long term. If I'm going to look at something for the long term, I'm looking at intrinsic value. I'm not necessarily looking at a technical analysis because especially in an emerging market like this, the majority of these coins, to be honest with you, won't be around. 10, 20 years from now, but the ones that are, are going to be worth a lot more than they are today. So when we're finding those intrinsically valuable projects, you want to go ahead and initiate some sort of capital in there so you can hold it and just hope for the best for that project. Now you have to make sure it has intrinsic value like EOS, for example, extremely fast blockchain. A lot of people are going to be switching from Ethereum to EOS. It's seen that initial run up recently with their EOS Dawn 3.0 releasing, and that was all speculative. It wasn't necessarily based upon current use case it was all speculation because the mainnet hasn't even launched yet for eos johan said lol ronald r says oyster pearl bro man there's always like different trends and i notice it in the live streams it's pretty cool and typically these coins that trend are the ones that see run-ups eventually so so far i've seen oyster pearl trending a lot ethos has been trending a lot and cash has been trending a lot nebula has been trending a lot so if you're into these coins, maybe you should do more analysis. I can't do every analysis, but I might look into some of those. Maybe I'll do like an altcoin small cap video specifically for all of these coins and just talk about them. That would be pretty cool, right? Jackson Lee. Hi, Knight. My first live stream. Good to have you, man. But been following you since December 2017. Want to take this moment to say thank you for your awesome trade alerts. The market update alone, well worth it on Patreon. Yes, as a matter of fact, we actually called another trade yesterday. It was Storm BTC, and that was even during that huge drop in price. I'm telling you, if you're on our Patreon trade alerts, I am trying my best to give you guys the best alerts on this, and I am constantly watching charts. I have indicators 24-7. This was a trade alert that was posted yesterday. If you guys don't know, our trade alerts are on patreon.com slash snipers, but this is the one we posted yesterday, and you could see... Bam, right into that profit zone, over 7% profits for the majority of the people that took advantage of that. I think some people got over 10%, so good for you. But thank you for that awesome comment, man. I really appreciate that. That means a lot. Somebody said, how about Amisco? Very good, intrinsically valuable project. Amisco, if y'all don't know, is a project that's been around for quite some time and has just recently been put on the blockchain, which is awesome. David Press says, well, it actually hit $1 trillion in the near future. Yes, 100%, David. The dot-com bubble, look, if you go to the dot-com bubble back in 2000, it went way above a trillion. It went to $3 trillion, and that was in 2000. You know how much money was worth back then? Gas was so much cheaper than it is now, right? So with inflationary valuation, that's over $10 trillion of a bubble. So do you not think that a global marketplace with speculative valuations are not going to exceed a localized bubble that occurred in the 2000s of course it is look look how high this bubble went do you see this this was in 2000 so 
knowing that this was the dot-com bubble, this is even more significant than the dot-com bubble, right? This is gonna revolutionize the internet. This is what the internet was meant to be. The internet was never meant to be centralized. It was meant to be decentralized. It was to give the power to the users, right? That's why Uber will eventually get phased out too. Why? Because why have Uber in the middle when you're connecting the driver and the rider? Why not just connect the driver and the rider? Well, how do you do that? You need a secure ledger called the blockchain. It's a distributed ledger with immutability. That's the beauty of this technology. Werner Raymond says, do you like Neo? 100%. I love Neo. I think the CEO is a stud. If you look at some of his keynotes, very focused, very intellectual individual. And I think he's going to make sure that Neo succeeds in the long term, because as long as you got a winning quarterback, you're going to get to that end zone, baby. Vishal says, sir, is XVG is on another pump? Most likely because of the announcement. Art by Mike Weiss said, Internet 2.0, 100, baby, 100. <laughs> or a Honda. <laughs> Zilliqa taking over. Yes, we've been talking about Zilliqa for quite some time. Bruh, can I send you a track? Yeah, send me a track, bruh. Send me a track. Go on Twitter, send me the track. Sniper's Tube. Twitter.com slash Sniper's Tube. Somebody says, why is Neo not moving as much as ONT? Interesting. Best favorite says, shout out to Syria. We must raise awareness. The chemical attack was staged. Thoughts and prayers. Hopefully that shout out helped out. Blessings to Syria. Hope all of you are doing fine. There shouldn't be violence in this world. There should be one world economy. In my opinion, cryptocurrency and the blockchain is going to allow for that. There shouldn't be regulation. The SEC sitting here saying, we're going to regulate. Well, guess what? We're leaving the United States and starting exchanges in Malta, right? That's not innovative. That's not the future. The SEC is most likely going to cooperate, in my opinion. That's why we haven't seen any strict regulations yet. They understand innovation. They're not like other countries banning ICOs, banning cryptocurrencies. No. You have to embrace innovation. Embrace innovation. Matu says, love your stuff, man. Watching from Estonia. Keep it up. Matu from Estonia, man. Fly me out there, man. I want to come out to Estonia. Werner says, thanks a lot. You're very welcome. Let's see. Unknown now says Uber, BNB, and all social meteors will be extinct. Absolutely. I think Steam it, another bullish project that I believe is the most successful use case of blockchain technology till this day. Steam will take over many social media platforms, and they've just now also created DTube, which, in my opinion, is also very good. A lot of content creators moving to DTube as well, based upon the ability to create revenue on the content that previously wasn't creating revenue for them. So let's keep Bitcoin up here in this pennant so we can watch this breakout. Nonamini said, Russia is here. Nice. Jam it to the live stream. I will love to do that. Edit says, check your Twitter DMs. I will. Thank you. Cape Town, South Africa. Man, when I was a bellman at a hotel, the one person that gave me a $100 tip was a lady from Cape Town, South, Af South Africa. And it was really my first close encounter with somebody from South Africa, right? That might sound crazy, but, you know, me living in Florida at the time, it was just not something you'd encounter on a daily basis. But, man, amazing, amazing people. Very generous, very humble, very, very good people. Jesse said, Compton, California here. <laughs> Hassan, you're very welcome. He said, thank you for the streams. Good, sir. Very informative. So he said, show me your g -Jax. Screw you. I'm not showing my g -Dax, dude. Everybody keeps, dude, watch the past two live streams where I showed all of my g -Dax trades when questioned about it. $3,000, $2,000 profit. Okay, keep questioning. Somebody says, are you Arba Habibi? <laughs> e Habibi. Ani, uh, man, I can't speak it so much. Somebody says, Amsterdam, baby, Crypto City. That is awesome. That's more than just that to Amsterdam. King Caffey said, where do you live now? I'm currently in California, staying around the heat. I'll be speaking at some conferences soon. There's going to be some really cool conferences coming up. Just follow us on Twitter if y'all want to know what conferences I'll be at so that you guys can come and meet me. I actually met one of our longest standing snipers since December when we had under a thousand subs. His name is Kevin. He came out and he actually gifted me this right here. I'll show you. He actually brought me this blue uh, Yeti microphone. So shout out to uh, Kevin. Thank you, man. That was really, really awesome of you uh, to, to gift this over and pass it down. But it's so cool meeting some of y'all, you know, it's just getting more in tune with the community 
and being able to really hear your stories is extremely inspiring. You know, he's a Chinese immigrant that is here studying and he doesn't have, even have a citizenship, but he was talking about, you know, different applications of the blockchain and how we could create like a duplicate Bloomberg terminal in China to create some sort of significant transition of money into more investing because he said the majority of Chinese people like to save their money rather than invest and he thinks that that's going to transition soon and that the cryptocurrency market is going to be a perfect market for a lot of Chinese investors to add money to because there's so much liquid asset uh, and, and cash in China. Y'all says your Twitter meme game needs improvement. Well, hey, listen, our Instagram meme game is pretty on point though. I'll tell you that right now. So look at that RSI oversold all in. My wife's gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna turn it into a meme. <laughs> Somebody's gonna make that into a meme. That's gonna be fun. If you do, I'll retweet it. Werner says, do you like Cardano? It has to be a GIF though. Yoel says, ha ha, love you. <laughs> love you too, brother. Thank you, man. Romania is with Sniper's Tubes. Alex Kalut. Man, I love Romania. Beautiful, beautiful country. Somebody says, come to London, dude. Absolutely. I've got family in Yorkshire, man. I have English in me. What sort of price level do you think Bitcoin will hit in the next few months? I think we will surpass $10,000 in the next few months. I think that we will start the rally. I think June is when we'll see all time highs. That's just my opinion. And I'll tell you exactly why. Look at this MACD. It's following a negative divergence here. And not only that, you can see this negative divergence is just leading towards this MACD in this fast length, starting to go up towards this buyer's area. The histogram starting to rise up. It already broke previous resistance with the histogram here. You can see this previous histogram of buyers was right around that level. We've already surpassed that showing that there's nothing stopping the buyers from coming into the market right now. Not only that, you can see how oversold and how little sellers we have in this market right now. Look how, look how these sellers got wiped out. Isn't that awesome? It's good to see sellers get wiped out because these histograms represent these sellers. Somebody says, would there be another discount drop to buy Moe quids? There's going to be discounts all the time, but you got to play the long game. Play the long game like Gary V says it. Somebody says, Naeem, be careful what you wish for. Rebel state sovereign. What are you talking about? What did I wish for that I need to be careful about? Unknown says, is your conference in Northern California? I'd love to meet you. There's going to be one in San Jose, one in Santa Monica so far. And I possibly might be in one in San Francisco, uh, just depending on where. But my goal is to get around Brock Pierce and some of these prominent individuals in the market to really get the inside information that... I deserve to get to bring to y'all guys so that you guys can have the information because I feel like being in this position that I'm in with influence, like yesterday, if you were on our Twitter, we hit over a million impressions in the last 28 days. I take that responsibility with high regard and I want to ensure I can bring all of you the information from the insiders because all this news that we see, in my opinion, it's just not as reliable as getting information from somebody that is actually manipulating the market, somebody that actually has money in the market, somebody that's actually creating the next revolution of this market because understand Bill Gates and Steve Jobs are just humans like you and I but they revolutionized the world with the internet right and they were the ones that paved the way for everyone the same way we've got Vitalik Buterin, Roger Ver at the forefront and then Brock Pierce even John McAfee very big advocate of cryptocurrency there's an awesome podcast by the Bad Crypto Podcast shout out to the Bad Crypto Podcast with John McAfee I was listening to that today funny funny podcast so HR said you're a stand-up guy. Awesome. Where, when is the one in Santa Monica? Next week in Santa Monica. ICO Summit. Uh, I will actually have a referral link I will post on Twitter. So if you're going to go, use the referral link so that we can all be under the Snipers 2 banner and we can have a meetup there. So I will post that today. So it will be actually tomorrow. So the X said, is there a pennant for me? Yes, pennant is for me right now on the hourly for Bitcoin, which is exciting. Resistance support converging, heading towards this apex, most likely going to break out in my opinion. All we need to do is test this top. Look, we saw this huge sell-off yesterday and it wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough to bring this price down. And that to me is confidence. That's how we predicted this initial breakout, by the way. The reason I was able to predict this was because I saw this sell-off. When the whales try to sell it off, you saw shorts skyrocket. It just wasn't breaking these support levels. In my opinion, that shows that the buyers are stronger than the sellers right now, regardless of if they're whales or if they're 
Dolphins, right? It doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is the buyers are winning right now. Somebody says, when's the world tour? ICO King. It will be soon at 100,000 subscribers. How about that? <laughs> Somebody says, I hate when people don't say McAfee's name right. Screw you, dude. Who cares? It's an accent, man. I have an accent. Whatever. It's, come on. People are so critical nowadays. Man. Ah. Somebody says, my mom paid for your Patreon trade alerts. <laughs> That is awesome. Well, good for her. Did she make money yesterday on Storm? Because a lot of people profited on that one. Somebody says, uh, what's up with BCH? Trading like garbage. Wondering if we should switch over to BTC, Robert. <laughs> well, remember, a forked coin is almost like a forged coin, in my opinion, if there's no full consensus, right? It's like the United States of America having a presidential election and then 49% voting Hillary Clinton, 50% voting 51% voting Trump, Trump becomes president, and then the other 49% say, oh, you know what? Well, I'm, I'm done. I'm leaving America. What happened to all those people? Remember that? Remember people were like, if Trump is elected, I'm leaving America. Where, where are you now? You're definitely not in Syria. You're not in Canada. You're still in America. So don't sit here and tell me you're going to go in hard fork. See, hard forks, in my opinion, need to be done the way Ethereum did it when Ethereum Classic hard fork, where there's community consensus and an agreement, even if it goes against what you've voted on right you just have to accept that the majority was not you and you were in the minority that's how presidential elections work right you accept the fact that donald trump was elected even if you voted for hillary clinton because it's consensus that's the same way i think forks should work it shouldn't be this battle of okay this is the new bitcoin core no it should be a overall consensus and without that consensus just don't do the hard fork that's just my opinion Somebody says, you're the best dude. Thank you, Brad. I appreciate that. Indian Crypto says, do you suggest buying Bitcoin at this point? If yes, did you already buy it? Yes, I did put a position in today. Do you suggest buying Bitcoin at this point? Yes. The reason I bought today was because, listen, <laughs> trading is all about profit or it's all about risk management. It's all about profit too. Um, and when you set up any long position, look, if I were to put in a long position here, look at this downside. We've only got so much downside right now because I can easily set up a stop loss here. And this is my downside, about 2% with all of this upside right here. To me, this is a great trade. I don't mind losing 2% for a potential 10%. That's how traders need to think. It's when there's more upside than downside is when you initiate your trade. So we're going to wrap this baby up. Thank you all for tuning in. Remember, our Instagram is live, Sniper's Tube. Follow us. We're going to be posting some other stuff other than just memes here. We'll post announcements and stuff and exclusive content on our story. So stay tuned for that. But thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys trusting Snipers Tube. Over a million impressions in the last 28 days on Twitter. That is such a big feat. And I'm so appreciative of it. I'm going to take that influence and make sure that we can use it in the highest regard as possible. And bring as much value to the community. And I really appreciate it. It's all because of you guys that this community has grown. And we advocate that you guys spread the word of cryptocurrency. And not only Sniper Soup, just the general consensus of the world is changing. And I don't want to sound like the BitConnect guy. So with that being said, BitConnect! <laughs>